Hi, my friends and family. My name is Trey, and today I'd like to talk to you about the hologramic reality and awareness of NPD abuse. I got a rope. Who's like thought that you know? The fakest and cruelest gods of all <laughs> just happen to be masters of 3D humanoid slave mind control. So I'll spend the whole day funky. I'll spend the whole day stoned, acting silly like a monkey just to help me feel at home. Is it the end or the beginning? Or how about another ending? Or how about when you know true love is never ending? Hologramic reality. Awareness of NPD abuse. Hol hologramic reality around the awareness of narcissistic abuse. This so-called reality is a trick of the light. Actually, you know, we're all just drops of the ocean having individual experiences of the soul. Christos, divine, Sophia, light, having individual experiences of the ocean, as they say. But many, many feel that this so-called reality is a trick of the light. A big, bad circus show. David Copperfield style illusion until we all wake up until at least 51% of humanoids wake up to the, the fake the falsities of the matrix we actually believe the lie imposed on our souls that we're all alone fighting each other over scraps in this world um, we all we actually believe the lie imposed on our souls minds and bodies that we are all separate atomized Egos competing with each other for scarce resources in a dog-eat-dog -dog world. In short, it is a dog-eat-dog -dog world, competitive world, and we are, each of us, raving mangy mutts with rabies often, clawing and scraping for food scraps from our masters, who are fake junior gods, who consume our crappy afraid fighting canine energy as a food source as many have said including me in many videos so this is the imposed condition okay the separation stay 666 this is the false reality okay this is what's been imposed on us through violence through telling the native americans of this beautiful santa cruz region if you do not convert to Catholicism, we will cut off your heads and take your stuff. And then they did. Okay, that's what's created the so-called mission. Which is really a mission of who? So, so they love it when we fight. They love it when we compete. They love it when we give each other shit all the time. Because that's their energy. It's called loosh. While... Epigenetics are a massive factor in this, you know, everything around us influences us. Um, our inherited spirituality has, let's face it folks, if you grew up in the church, unless it was a Buddhist or a shaman church, there's a good chance, a very good chance that it's reptilian, just channeled reptilian scraps of um, bits of half-truths uh, mixed in you know half-truths and divine college cosmology mixed with inverted dogma so so they tell you a few true things and you know a few divine bits and mix it in you know it's it's the way they the Bible was was created you know so that it had some beautiful divine truths mixed in with the control agenda you know the big bad control agenda so um as i always say take a look at the big always take a look at the bigger picture than your dogma or your rent or take a look at the 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 hologramic pattern as i've said before um psilocybin shrooms which are decriminalized in this particular county 
I find to be a, a wonderful way to help deprogram your disrespectful and unaware hologramic patterns. And so what I be truth when I uh, read in Talbot's book is that, man, this is this is like like my videos. This is a Cliff's Notes version of what's really happening. This, this is telling you the truth. Everything in your life is part of your hologram. Okay, so Dr. Bruce Lipton put his hand on my shoulder explaining some of his principles to me and, and he told me that the Jesuit priests say, give me a child until they're six and I'll give you the man. Why were we all forced in the USA to uh, undergo the rigorous capitalist pig mind control operations of eight hours in a desk under fluorescent lights from age six to age 18 and you know, worse yet, if you go to university or even more so doctor or lawyer school from age 6 to age 18 or adults, as it's known legally. As Castaneda said, <clears throat> the, the flyers gave us their minds. They gave us their minds, which is exactly why, you know, we have to be forced by Rockefeller compulsory school system to stay unless your parents, unless we have the courage to do homeschooling to stay in these systems, which is why doctors and lawyers also have to undergo all these years of training so that they have more, not just to memorize the body parts and the drugs you give for specific body parts, but also obviously so that you have more hubris so that you, if you put on the black robe or you put on the doctor's outfit, you're the priest of the scientism, okay, cult. You have more indoctrination and more narcissistic false realities. You know, it was funny when, when Sam Vaknin made a video saying the MD is the most dangerous narcissist. You know, I, I found that humor uh, uh, funny. That, you know, he could get away with that. But Fal Chi said, I am science. Well, I was watching a, a video today with Sasha Stone. Maybe. In my opinion, maybe Sasha Stone is science because he's an Aquarian who brings on people who aren't pseudo scientists of the scientism death cult, but people who are like spiritual scientists from India, people who consider the cosmosis, the cosmogenesis, the metaphysics, the mind control involved in what their experiments are doing. So. Sasha Stone is science, but not the most well-paid killer of all time. The fact remains, Michael Talbot's seminal book from the 1980s um, called The Hologramic Universe, I'd highly recommend to my audience here to check it out. In a pretty succinctly format, being less than 200 pages as I recall, this uh, book explains very well uh, the reality that though we were made in the image of a divine being or Christ Sophia as I call her we are given the greatest gift of all by her as well choice or free will of how we will use our body minds our thoughts every thought is a thing and it will affect your body's health your mind's health your dream every thought belief dogma and action create a framework our minds are architects of these structures, these edifices uh, we, we construct as 3D automatons, wage slaves or addicts, or if we're aware as master artist of our own life, architect of our, the art form of our own life, having full control. It, when, at the point when the matrix and the archons lose over 96 control, percent of control of your mind, then you realize you are the artist and the creator of your life. Going back to Buddhism, the Kala, the Kala Chakra Tantra ritual is a very long tantric Buddhist ritual. Uh, the Dalai Lama has only performed twice as, um, as far as I know. It can go for years and I I got a long a book that described the whole, was it when he was a little bit younger than I am now he performed the whole ritual in his early 40s and I got a book that described the whole was a you know a recording of the whole thing and uh, I didn't read that much of it because it's rituals but it's you know but you're you're in the middle of this um, 
mandala, but the mandala is this big building or temple. And at each corner is uh, another one of the gurus or divine beings who teaches you principles. And so the whole idea of the Kala Chakra Tantra is to see yourself as the Buddha in the center of this, what I would say is a hologramic structure of divine structure so that you overstand inner and understand that your life is a, you know, a, a, a magnetic, a hologramic reproduction or manifestation or form of the divine being having experience as you, the divine having an experience as you. So that you wake the flunk up and quit being an idiot about it. So, uh, whereby um, one meditates on yourself as the Buddha in the very center of a, bu a building which is also a labyrinth. As you pass through different rooms and levels, you encounter different supernatural beings, gurus, and deities. This ritual seems to emphasize the obvious necessity of the Dalai Lama's uh, preferred also to this also brings up his preferred uh, insight meditation which is basically you know supposedly he says he gets up two hours before all the other monks and goes up at seven gets up at three and question does insight meditation at 3 a.m. questions every single thought and belief in his mind is that true is that true is that true until one attains the precise clarity of the emptiness of the fullness of the true Mahayana, the divine, the true Dharma, the true divine being and all. In short, insight meditation, I would say, is like a Tibetan Buddhist Gnostic meditation. You question everything. Is that true? Is the mantra um, a real one with the goal of pure awareness? Or is it giving your energy to some of these vampires? So as you learn how pervasive the brainwashing done by Lucifer or Inky or and Marduk are how pervasive how brilliant of a job they did and evil if that's possible because it comes back on them how pervasive the brainwashing done by Lucifer or Inky and Marduk are and how pervasive and across the board psychic violence rules most institutions psychically violent okay remember 2020 then you'll learn the obvious fact that the epidemic of narcissistic personality disorder is an inversion of all the truths related to the external reality. In other words, people who have really bad NPD to the point of being possessed by narcissistic predator entities are people who actually believe the shit filth trash belief of solipsism that it's you against the world that you have to fight against all the other human dogs and slaves for your box to not die this is the shit filth trash that is the reason why many towns that are so-called illuminati towns or places where the inversion and the mind control rules the so-called cost of living is high where they break up communities these towns have a little tiny, if any, chance at all of survival. Because as long as all the people are separated by the money, what do you think? It's going to work out? No. This is where they force, this is the front lines of where they force the psychological World War III, which is narcissistic, predator, predatorial thug spirits who are powerful mind control artists against respectful and or fef fearful, obedient people. Okay, it's everyone against everyone else all the way up the top of the pyramid until you realize the whole thing is a fraud. Okay, because no one's against anyone else when you're awake. Okay, it's a community, a human family. Okay, so, so NPD is the inversion of all the, the truth of the external reality. And, and solipsists are the most pathetic version. They don't even, you can't even tell if anyone else is there. God is in all beings for real and everything becomes God. Everything becomes God is only in me. Like I am the one and only God. Um because you're a fucking idiot. Because you let or you or because you let evil spirits possess you. You're possessed. Okay? The 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 co-interdependence of all beings and necessity of community becomes it's all it's always only about me in other words the obvious fact that we all need each other in the endless knot as the buddhists describe it 
we all need each other becomes it's all about me and how can you serve me or um, the person with CNPD or the so-called disabled is not really disabled they're just mentally ill because they're taught um, that they're sick or victimhood awareness or learned helplessness it's still it's all about me and my wound okay your souls feel kicked back down into a dog based reality which you know whether you're a, a fucking competitive wage slave or a so-called wealthy or so-called disabled you're all stuck in spiritual three or four year old kindergarten unless you wake up um, you know and um, this kicks kicks us all back, back down into a dog based reality which began with Lucifer the dog dogged egomaniac from Sirius okay hundreds of thousands of years ago began to dumb us down into idiotic copies of him okay he tried to hybridize the divine human race with his own Syrian dog wolf man genetics okay and you know as a master of mind control and monetary systems he cr helped cr help them to his 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 number one top dog slaves to create fiat capitalism and now they're trying to create CBDC paving the way for full-scale dominance what are taxes for who gets to say control control of what the people and the resources when the, the land when, when the so-called cost of living skyrockets and beast system survival wage and property slavery is normalized like it is in this neighborhood what happens to our human communities what happens okay the people doing the most the best and most creative and most essential key works to build the communities have to suffer from these entities or have to suffer from narcissism because that's all they've ever known and wage and property slavery is normalized what happens to our human communities they're decimated for as long as we allow like over six intentional communities we got they got rid of prior to the lockdown in this town alone okay I could list them off for you for as long as we allow narcissists psychopaths and sociopaths to rule through paying out of control rents fees and mandates and it's an insane arbitrary laws like if you're a wealthy person and you you leave California you got to pay Gavin Newsom some exorbitant sum I don't know how much and obey the gougery of inflation and the invisible hand of the you know in controlling the marketplace which has no soul which the invisible hand is con con connected to the big burly brawny muscular body of mammon which has no brains no head the god of money the reason why the symbol of the god of money is a man with huge muscles and no head is because money is a brainless god okay and as long as we obey the gougery of inflation, we'll watch the epidemic of spiritually retarded, narcissistic, predatory personality disorders grow exponentially. So in acknowledging and learning to discern that this is a hologramic reality and what you allow into your mind structure, the castles or the castles in the Kala Chakra, as it's called in Tantric Buddhism, in other words, you do the shadow work the clearing you'll find the former you sadly you'll find the former friends and uh, family members and ultimately even extremely narcissistic inverted despotic institutions ultimately have guess what it's good for you but not for them they have no control over you as as you are awakened as you regain spiritual responsibility and ultimately all forms of responsibility sovereign ultimate sovereignty over yourself and notice a person with NPD or NPEs is a judge or prison guard in the hologramic matrix system of beliefs of hell on earth of being a slave for the box and an energy drink for these fake junior gods a person who this is a person so fucked up and it's so sad when it's somebody who's your blood kin or your best friend or you re reproduce with them or your mom or your dad or your, your children and you realize that they fully bought into the pure lies of Lucifer 
This is why I talk about this subject a lot, because this person with NPD is 100% bought into the lies. You know what it says in, in Aleister Crowley's Satanic Bible. Do as thou wilt is the letter of the law. Balderdash. Karma is atta attached to everything we do that harms others at all. Okay, Dharma is attached to all that we do that helps others, if it, especially if it doesn't harm them at all. Balderdash, psychically violent hubris, and even physical violence will be the result of obeying this trashy idea from the Satanic Bible. A hologram is a 3D picture that contains all of the contents of the in original and refracted or miniaturized version. Okay, Remember from the original Star Wars, the first one, Episode 4, when Leia appeared from RJD2? Well, that's your what it looks like um, in a rudimentary old school version. The old Gnostics said the Demiurge created the world. And the Demiurge was the builder god who had no soul. It could have been Lucifer they're talking about. He was a master builder, but he had no soul. So the Demiurge created the world or the matrix as a copy of the real world. Okay? In other words, the real world where we all actually have 100% free will in the real world free will is a hundred percent true so when we when this planet is reaches ascension and fifth dimensional awareness we'll all have free will for real it won't be a fake ass pipe it won't be a lie they they peddle you and then make you a box slave thus vampirism slavery narcissism and control are its virtues and self-respect and discipline are the way to transcend the prison trap okay so in other words so lucifer and the dark ones they believe being a narcissistic psychopath or a sociopath an idiot vampire who steals is um uh, respectful and you know it's good because it feeds them all their loose so they teach that in the media they teach that in the mainstream dogma they teach that on this platform if you're watching the most uh, mainstream one it's sad the person with bad NPD is just a spiritual coward or fear controlled person who pathetically just believed and obeyed the inverted surface level shallow beast mode survival games as reality in other words they believe this shit filth that we're all supposed to fight each other over scraps the reason they always must compete constantly, the reason why somebody with NPD is always f competing with you, is because they buy into this stupid belief. They exist mostly or wholly in Lucifer's false ass inversion where only me, or worse yet, only the black hole that consumes me can exist. The narcissist predator is thus the biggest sucker of all. BG. Klaus Schwab, the people who harm others are the biggest suckers. Okay? In this system, for all I do to you, I do to me. Okay? It's a fact. I am not the one and only God. I'm just a tiny portion of it, really. I am a ray or dancing, talking, singing thread. One thread of a sweater that can cover the earth. The divine that can only play. I can only play. This voice and this flesh suit and this temporary manifestation can only play in the gigantic, massive symphony and awesome dance party called Awake Humanity when I discard most of my own narcissism. Because anytime I'm hypocritical or, or, or fall into unawareness or judgment, because I'm not 100% clear of my shadow work, I could fall prey to the same shit filth trash views unless I'm 100% clear, okay? So, throw out all of the egoic inversion if and when you get the courage and, um, and jam and equanimity in this exiting cl clarification, existing exiting clarification of the beginning of the age of light with full awareness of how horrible narcissistic abuse can be you will let that adult three-year-old hide his head in the corner um, 
of your hologram until you forget he's there and ignore his fake-ass attempt at catching you in his web of lies. Because you don't deserve that. You don't deserve to place your energy in that sick-ass trap that feeds his, his demons. As there is no place for this sick, Luciferian, possessed soul in the hologram of divinity you are building in your beautiful, embodied, sacred, harmonious future. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, you know, make sure you click on the subscribe and the, the notification bell for more. And, you know, it, when it comes to narcissistic abuse, eventually you'll realize you got to forgive yourself and, you know, forget about it. And just allow that person to have their way with other people because it's not worth it. And realize that, uh, you know what, this <clears throat> really is... And actually a hologramic reality and it's up to you to have the awareness to do your own shadow work and understand what it is that's in your divine beautiful sacred Christic human hologram that you create with your beliefs and your thoughts and deeds Loving you folks, and if you have the courage, as I always say, create a great one.